While you binge watched cat videos on YouTube, you might have missed some of the best science and tech involving animals of 2015. Welcome to our very final best of episode for 2015, and this one is close to my heart because of sloths and goats and cats who have stopped caring. Also because animals are not taking any more of that drone's nonsense. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. First, the story that may make you want to question your hatred for rats with wings. If you didn't know they're smart enough to detect cancer, this is for you. Researchers just trained pigeons to spot breast cancer in medical images, and they are killing it. They were shown images of breast tissue, and the birds would peck yellow or blue on a touchscreen monitor to indicate whether the tumors were benign or malignant. When they chose correctly, they received a treat. After two weeks of training, pigeons voted as a group on the slides and got up to 99% accuracy. 99%! Cool. Let's get my fill in here for the rest of the show then. You don't need me. Cool. Cool. Actual rats are also contributing to how well scientists understand memories. A virtual reality system for mice was just tested out in Virginia. It involved some reality in that movable walls could tickle the whiskers on a mouse's face while it was really just running on a treadmill. However, most of the mice seemed to think they were in a complicated maze. Look at that concentration. The mice take uh, very naturally to it. You know, we're interested in sort of, you know, having the animals do these sort of very kind of intelligent behaviors. The whole point of the exercise is to see if mice remembered complicated routes back to base to then see if scientists can track how memories are formed. Eventually, researchers will use it to study diseases like Alzheimer's. And that can't come soon enough. Knowing your ex the way you do, it should not be surprising that human brains share so many characteristics with rats. That's a burn. That's why scientists are modeling their brains first. They'll get your ex later. 82 scientists from around the world formed the synaptic equivalent of a musical supergroup to better understand the brain. The way to understand a complex system is to build it step by step. And each step of building is a step of understanding. The Blue Brain Project developed a simulation of a rat's brain. Its algorithm had to make rules to describe 11 types of neurons, how they form circuits, and the changes in sleeping and awake brains. Early tests already found that calcium puts the faux brain to sleep, but when the calcium levels were decreased, the brain woke back up. Down the road, this should lead to more discoveries about neurological disorders, artificial intelligence, and where I put my keys. No, seriously, I can't find them. I'm using the spares. Even fruit flies can get in on the fun, helping us figure out what the little bastards are thinking. Apparently, we'll soon be able to tell when a fruit fly infestation is coming because we can read their evil little minds. Northwestern neuroscientists say they figured out how to read fruit flies by first analyzing the neurons in their brains during sensory experiences. They then traced the activity with fluorescent molecules and eventually were able to see patterns for common behaviors, like when they first smell that banana you actually want to eat. This is all important for brain research, but honestly, if that's a fruit fly in my house, I'd like to show it what I'm thinking back. And now, a story to turn you into an instant vegetarian. Gene researchers, mostly from Harvard, published a paper in Science this week that suggests we could edit the genes in the average pig so that their organs could be used for transplants in humans. Apparently, geneticists remove some DNA sequences from pig cells that are believed to be harmful to humans. So these guys, just hanging out in their field, might be in you one day. And that bacon you've been munching might have been the father of the great to the 15th pig that actually saves your life. <coughs> Feel terrible. Or maybe you'd like to morph into the beekeeping charmer you've always dreamed of becoming. But with tech, so you know, keep your iPhone. If any of you saw the amazing Bees Eye View documentary, More Than Honey, you are already concerned about the future of bees. My grandfather would probably walk from this property. He'd think, my God, you've lost your soul. 
and backyard beekeepers normally have to get all up in the beeswax to harvest honey, but not so with this new invention. It's called the Flow Hive, and for $700, you too can upgrade yourself with some tech. Instead of scraping off honey and wax the old fashioned way, then processing it, the Flow Hive works like a tap. The honeycomb pattern is made to switch open, creating channels for honey to flow down and leaving the wax on the comb, giving you nothing but sweet honey glory. Beekeepers still have to crack the hive open to check on the health of their bees and if there are any parasites in there bugging them. But basically, this thing is a game changer. Apparently that flow is only achieved with certain kinds of bees and warm honey, so also you should probably move to the tropics. Have you had enough of animals yet? Me neither. And that's why Cat and Peg Leg would like to say hello. This sassy little pal, Vincent, was born without rear tibias and likely would have died, except a cat lady fell in love with him like they do. An orthopedic surgeon in Iowa State's Veterinary Services worked with 3D printing firm Biometrix to create a custom pair of extruded titanium peg legs for little Vinny. They're actually surgically embedded into his bones. His bone is looking great, the implants are stable. I would anticipate that he'll be jumping and doing really normal cat things very soon. Now he can walk and also commandeer a ship because he's more pirate than all those other posers. <laughs> While this story is not directly squid related, scientists did learn how to do something magical with plastic by studying our deep sea friends. Squid are capable of some pretty amazing feats, and the same goes for their suckers. Turns out the ring teeth inside their suction cups continually heal themselves when exposed to water. So researchers from University of Pennsylvania recreated proteins from them in a lab and made super plastic, basically. The resulting material can be cut in half, then doused with water and pressed back together without getting any weaker. We also fell in love with this security owl who you could definitely pretend is your very own Hedwig, so that's worth something. The cutest little security camera you've ever seen is up on Kickstarter, starting at about 230 US dollars. Ulo the owl can go into alert mode for about a week without being charged, but can live stream for about two days until it needs to be plugged in. It can also take photos, which the owl winks for, come on, and you can customize its expression. When it needs a charge, your adorable owl gets sleepy, and I'm seriously in love a little bit. Is this weird? It's weird. And finally, we hate talked about all these things and a little something I'm calling the tech I hated in 2015. Just flash through those. Ugh, children are starving, but you know, warm coffee. But we love the video of the dad getting color glasses. Oh baby! The concept behind the 3D garment that moves when someone is staring at you and the MIDI instrument you can draw with a conductive pen. <laughs> Also, not to be forgotten, the little Robohan, your new Japanese robot smartphone. Needs more animals, but otherwise, solid work. See you next year.